in the area, and until we get an adequate environmental impact statement from you about how the camp is integrated with respect to its environment and environmental impact, we cannot do anything. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's terrible for the environment. We've got too many people here for what, what we'll support. We're a strong believer that everything is connected, and if you can support the environment, you're also um, supporting yourself. Um, and so, until so, we like can so how are we supposed to support the environment when we have hundreds of people coming in every day? Yeah, this is a terrible show. You know, it's, like they're coming in from all these other camps, and so wouldn't you want to deal with the place where they're all ending up, which is here? So it's just going to get worse unless we do something. Well, we've is the noticed environment that there's more important than human life? We've noticed that there's a lot of a lot of NGOs here that are here to help the people, but but we're yeah, the but only there, one that we've we haven't it. seen it. We saw one meat, one day of food. One day, yeah, one I day. know. They really need to get their act together. Yes, we're we, much more coordinated in what we're doing, together. but we have a much broader view of objectives well, and goals. Long-term, long sustainability and for the environment and for. If the environment is degraded badly, you know we hope not to stay here very long. I mean, you know, we've been here long enough. We want to get life back to normal. We're not interested in creating an environment here that will keep us all here. It's well, just, it's we're just not kind worried of about that. We're worried about the impact of the community as long as it is here, and we need a statement from you. So now we're bad for the community. Adequate environmental well, impact. Well, I think statement. dead bodies no, for are the bad environment. for the community. Yeah, so. Oh, the environment. Yeah. Well, that's we all we that, can do. Yeah. We're very sorry. We do wish you well in trying to sustain yourself. So what, uh, what's your assessment of the environment that you've seen? It's in pretty bad shape, and that's why our people in New York want to see an environmental impact statement which spells out what you're going to do and how you're going to handle the problem. How well, uh, we, we're going to handle the problems? The ball is in your court. Yeah. What do we okay. have to work we'll with? We'll be happy to die if that helps with global warming. If level. you can spell out what needs to be done, perhaps that would be goals that we could address. We need to have less people here. There's too many people for this place. You can give us more space. No, Unfortunately, we don't have that kind of resources. So. Well, neither do. What, what resources are we <laughs> supposed to have? We're stuck. We have we have our directives. Well, what do you, we, environmental impact? What do you mean by that? Polluting well, the, the river? Environmental impact statement is something that's required of almost any sort of operation anywhere. And uh, all we're suggesting or indicating is that our organization wants to see that approach taken in the refugee situation. That we have to consider the environment as much as human suffering. And the shelter. Yeah, and pollution of water, um, use of uh, old tree, trees. old growth trees for you know fires and for we're for using the tr whatever trees to. we got for the shelter and the fire for people coming in. We and it's not else, helping you any because you you take the trees away, you take away the forever. wildlife, you take okay. away the, the natural What do we have niche. instead of that though? Well, I we're mean, hoping the other NGOs satisfy those needs. They don't. Well, yeah, that's I mean, it, what yeah. you see is what we've got here, and it's, it's getting worse. Okay. So bring something in for us to have it get better, great. We, we were fairly no, quick okay. in responding, and perhaps you can take that approach with your NGOs as they come back around on a second pass with things they can do. We, we're hoping to sensitize them to this issue. But well, we have to move on because we've got to make this message built all the way around Gopher Stand. So we do wish you the best of luck, and that's all we can do at so, this point. We so you're going to tell us that, that what we're doing isn't the right thing, but statement. then they're supposed to give us the goods to make it good. We need to come up with environmentally friendly ways of uh, helping the refugees. Get, helping. Do you have some ideas? How is can be possible uh, if people didn't have a house, that. didn't have a bed, I didn't know, have a really, restroom a, and shower? Really and you think it's possible to take care about all these trees and about we, all this can grass? Can we get composting toilets from somewhere? Can we uh, get, now you're beginning to think. This is the sort of get, environmental we, impact um, all right, but can we suggest that's needed. We, we, we can bring composting toilets. Little, yes, little we'll bring some composting burning toilets. stoves so we don't have to use our trees. How about some tent, more tents for all the people that are coming? That's How about great. clothes? How about clothes. boots and shoes? These are things that the other organizations have. How about a priority, yeah. 
You can handle so the composting anything. Anything. We'll right. try to help you with Tommy. No, they're just telling us what we're doing wrong. Whatever. We've, we heard about some of those things, but they're not coming either. Nobody's offering. We can be buying.